guys a very warm welcome to Ariyanth Online Academy and here in this session we are going to discuss very very important MCQs on divide and conquer very very important guys we have discussed included previous year questions which will gonna very very helpful for you so let's just start with the question number one the question was asked in UGC net as well as in get CS the question is consider the polynomial px equals to a0 plus a1x plus a2x square plus a3x cube so let me write it here it is like a0 plus a1x plus a2x square plus a3x cube okay it is our polynomial the question is where a i doesn't equals to 0 for all i means for a0 a1 a2 a3 the value shouldn't be 0 for them the minimum number of multiplications needed to evaluate p on the input x is so suppose a random input x is there so what would be the minimum number of multiplication for to evaluate the value of this p okay guys so i can write it like a0 plus x x square and x cube so i can initially what i can do i can take out x as a common and then i can write it like a1 isn't it i can write it like that plus again what i can do from x square and x cube again i can take x as a common and i can write a2 here plus a3 x isn't it i can write it like there na? okay guys so here if you will see i will multiply a1x it would be there and after the evaluation of this a2x and a3x square and x cube so a2x square and a3x cube will be there now minimum of number of multiplication is one multiplication should be there another multiplication should be there and another multiplication should be there so only three multiplications will be there while uh, doing uh, this poly uh, while doing to evaluate value of p here so guys option a is the right answer it was asked in very very important exam of the computer sciences like ugc net and gate so i think you got the concept it is basically dependent on the divide and conquer technique and you need to follow up this approach okay the next question is in the following c function let n is greater than or equals to m int gcd okay greatest common divisor be, uh, between n and m if n modulus m does equals to 0 then directly you need to return m but if uh, else n equals to n modulo m return gcd mn the question is how many recursive calls are made by this function so recursive call is here gcd whenever a function will call itself it is called as recursive function so here recursive function call is there so how many time it will be called so as you know that modulo function is calling here modulo function is uh, calling here so you can directly say that log of log n time will be the time complexity of the following function so here option c that is theta of log base to log base to n basically we do not need to write base here you can directly answer in terms of theta log of log n okay option c is the correct answer the next one is the algorithms which are based on divide and conquer techniques merge sort it is based on divide and conquer you all know that because first we divide we divide each each array into the half and then what we do we, we do merge after uh, dividing them quick sort is also their pivot element after partitioning we do that in binary search also we need to find middle element and left right we do on the basis of dividing them so all of these are based on divide and conquer techniques option d is the right answer the next question is the minimum number of comparisons required to find the minimum and maximum of 100 numbers very very interesting question guys very very interesting okay if 100 numbers are given to you if 100 numbers are given to you okay suppose from 1 to 3 or in any manner up to 100 it is basically i have write it in the sorted order but you can suppose it in a random order it is given to you and whatever may be the number like 938 okay 54 1 
and up to like that total 100 numbers are given to us then what would be the minimum number of comparisons what would be the minimum number of comparisons will be required to find minimum and maximum of this 100 numbers minimum and maximum of that 100 number so total 100 numbers are there so first so we are finding minimum number so to find minimum number n minus 1 comparisons will be required n minus 1 comparison so 99 comparisons will be required to finding only minimum we we only have find minimum to find minimum 99 comparisons will be required now we need to find maximum so basically when we will find 99 minimum elements in the first round 50 elements would be removed because 50 elements would be uh, either uh, a minimum from the other 50 numbers isn't it are you getting or not in the first round of this 99 comparisons 50 numbers exactly 50 numbers are there who is lesser than one of their number because we we made comparison by dividing them so only 50 numbers are required now and from this 50 again if we will do perform the comparison then n minus 1 that is 49 more comparison would be there now 99 plus 49 you will get 148 so total 148 comparisons will be required in order to find minimum and maximum of 100 numbers it is a very very important question of gate computer science and many exams like isro bar and it officers and ugc net repeat this kind of questions in a very moderate manner just to check the aptitude of the students so just not make a note of that and i hope it will be helpful for you the next question is consider the following pseudocode what is the total number of multiplications to be performed here it is a pseudocode given to us and we need to find what is the total number of multiplications so here one for loop is there which is running from one to n another for loop is there we uh, n times and another for loop which will run from j the it is dependent on the value of j from j plus 1 to n okay no problem i can consider it n approximately no problem but our my, my uh, multiplication basically dependent on this statement d equals to d into 3 okay and initial value of d is 2 so it, if i will perform it 2 into 3 that is 6 next time 6 into something next time 6 into something means it, it would be the factor of 6 so every time our value is getting reduced to 1 sixth every time we are reducing the value of that nth element by 1 sixth in the consecutive manner of third element so if you will see option c is the most correct answer that is 1 sixth of the product of the three consecutive integer would be performed right so basically you can consider it in the format of time time complexity so option c is the correct answer the next question is the difference between divide and concur in dynamic programming is so basically the ba basic difference between divide and concur in dynamic programming is, is there that in divide and concur if we are getting sub problem as a overlapping problem if we are getting sub problem as a overlapping what does overlapping means a problem which we have already solved uh, uh, solved earlier then we do not need to solve them again in dynamic programming in dynamic programming so if suppose two similar sub problems are there exact some problems are there means they are overlapping each other means the problems are overlapping so in dynamic programming we do we don't do we don't solve sub problems again and again we just store the results and directly calculate that right but in divide and conquer we generally don't store okay so option a whether the sub problem is overlap or not option a is the correct answer guys the basic difference between divide and conquer and dynamic programming is option a that whether the problem is sub problem is overlapping or not it is the um, basic difference the next question is every recurrence can be solved using master theorem so basically you all know that master theorem is a tricky theorem to find the uh, time complexity of the recurrence relations and uh, it is not basically used it is useful for finding some of the important time complexity if it is given in the format of master's theorem okay some format is there in the format of a t n and b n plus log n like that so but there are many relations many many recurrence relation 
for which you can't find you can't use master theorem suppose if my recurrence function is like a by something that a by c something like that and then tn then for that i cannot uh, use master theorem in it right because in denominator my in denominator nothing should be there while we are solving master theorem so it is a false statement the next one is a divide and conquer approach to solve a problem is useful when so when divide and conquer approach is useful option a we can break the problem into several sub problems that are similar to the original problem but smaller in size yes guys option a itself is the correct answer a divide and conquer approach to solve problem basically we use divide and conquer problem for a bigger problem when bigger problem is bigger then we do it by dividing into several smaller problems but all the smaller problems should also all these smaller sub problems will be exactly like original problems okay so for that we use dsc so option a is the right answer the next question is the approach of dynamic programming is similar to i just told you earlier na it is the uh, dynamic programming is similar to divide and conquer approach but in divide and conquer approach we do we for sub problems we if sub problems are overlapping also then we do it uh, separately but here we store the results and direct calculate the results direct use the results okay so dynamic programming is similar to divide and conquer approach the next one is which of the following algorithm is not divide and conquer euclidean algorithm to compute the greatest common divisor so it is a divide and conquer algorithm guys heap sort heap sort is not a divide and conquer algorithm cooley to k fast fourier transform it is also divide and conquer and quick sort is also divide and conquer so heap sort is the is not a divide and conquer technique so option b is the right answer so guys i hope all the questions which i have discussed with you in this video lecture are very very clear to you further if you have any kind of doubts or queries in any kind of question just ask us i will try to solve your all doubts and queries as early as possible please stay tuned with us do subscribe our youtube channel and press the bell icon button so that whenever you i we will upload new lectures you will get latest updates from our side instantly have a very very nice day guys jai hind jai bharat take care of yourself